Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. I also have some really good news. Um, I've fallen really far behind on content. This is two days worth of construction updates in one video for you guys today. Um, I'm still struggling to uh, keep this cough under control, which is crazy. It's all that's left. So I'm obviously going to have to go get that checked out because I don't know what it is. It's probably pneumonia. But nonetheless, um, the construction update for today is... Uh, they've started moving the fences to incorporate them working on the brake run for this coaster um, at Canada's Wonderland. So as you can see here, they've made enough room for that heavy machinery to move in and drill the <coughs> those two footings. Um, so basically how it's going to work, and the, the from what I've gathered, is the caisson company comes in, um, and one morning they'll drill the caisson bit of the footing. So they'll drill the caisson. Um, they'll pour the case on with the rebar and then they'll do the footing section of it the next day so after that that concrete dries um, they put the threaded rod on and then the footing is finished um, over here at the front of the mountain there are a bunch of those silver survey markings and those are usually swing radius or distance tracking between something that's going to be moving um, so those are at the front end of the mountain very <coughs> very telltale sign of what that's for um so i just wanted to get that on the footage over here in tunnel three they're getting ready to finish off the footings right here so this machine will probably do it today it's today thursday <laughs> thursday they'll probably do those as long as they're able to with the weather if not they'll do them friday um they were just chipping away at that uh footing down there that caisson sorry um, just to correct, I guess, an overpour of concrete. This is going to be either a turntable or a, a really weird turn. Um, it could incorporate uh, the transfer track. That's why it might look a little weird right now. But it is going to be some weird part of the ride, whether it's a turntable, a show building, or a turn, like a really weird turn. That's what it's going to be. Um, this is the brake run and station area, as stated many times. Um, no evidence of station work has started yet, um, but as you know, there's some serious electrical heading down the launch of this ride. Um, and yeah, so uh, the direction that they're going to work in next is really difficult because none of the footings are marked deep inside the mountain, and none of the footings are marked past the brake run heading out towards International Show Place. So the direction of travel is not quite known in terms of where they're going to move next for this construction project. And that's going to be a telltale sign. That's going to help us figure out um, the rest of this coaster. Um, they are do working on some water excavation over near the extreme Skyflyer plot of land again. Um, this is old news for a lot of you now, but uh, they have the single rider line attached on Behemoth. I do expect this to move to other attractions as well. Um, and... Other exciting news is Cyclone was down for a bit, and it's back up. And when I was observing it, you could tell that it definitely had some sort of, probably if I had to guess, a motor upgrade. It was running flawlessly and a lot more quieter, and it just seemed a lot smoother. So I just wanted to show that for you guys. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's construction update. See you in the next one.